the Louisiana Supreme Court ruled that a police officer injured during a protest could sue the protest organizer. This case arose out of a 2016 protest of the police fatal shooting of Alton Sterling. And the officer went on to claim that he was injured by some hard object that was thrown toward his head and that the organizer of the protester is the one who's responsible. That is DeRay McKesson. And you may know DeRay, here's a photo of him. He has been involved in a lot of Black Lives Matter conversations as well as possibly facing liability here. And what the majority opinion, it said in concurring part, it ruled that because it's alleged that McKesson with knowledge that such protest could turn violent, stage a protest and direct contravention of law, thereby provoking the police to respond. A person can easily associate the injury to the police officer with the alleged conduct. And this decision was six to one with one lone justice out there at the Louisiana Supreme Court recognizing how dangerous this could be for First Amendment rights when it comes to protests. And so this justice here in the dissent wrote this. Finding that McKesson had a legal duty in the case will have a chilling effect on political protests in general as nothing prevents a bad actor from attending an otherwise peaceful protest and committing acts of violence. Courts would see increased litigation from all sides of the political spectrum and flow of political speech could hinge on which viewpoints had patrons with deeper pockets. Now, Dina, we only have just a few seconds left, but what are your thoughts on this? I mean, it's this state law in particular is so so bad. So it might require the legislation to be overruled. But it, it will also, I think, be very hard to prove that this object came from somebody within that protest. So although it did go down to the lower court, my hope is that they do not prevail. So this does not become a precedent because otherwise it is very dangerous for future protests in the First Amendment. Absolutely, and the fact that they have that Louisiana Supreme Court decision out there interpreting that state law can be very problematic in the state of Louisiana when it comes to protesting any kind of injustice and civil rights issue. But we hope that people are not silenced and they continue to use their voices 